Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Myth Killer Productions. As always, I will be your host, Sari Myth Killer, and today we are going to start another new game. Uh, Happy Dungeons has been out for about a year and a half now, I believe, um, but it still looks like a really cute game to play. Uh, I've seen a couple others play it, and I wanted to give it a shot myself. In a boundless world far, far away, there was a happy war. War took place on islands floating in the sky. There was seemingly no end to the number of people who ended up falling off. Oh no! Save the princess looking person! This is adorable. Mm -hmm. Aww, she's cute. Warriors fall down to this huge island every day. Ow. Ow. More ow. Worse ow. Arg! <laughs> Somehow, this poor little flower never gets crushed. Sorry. We've been revived! Uh oh! Those are goblins. Defeat the goblins. Okay, it's a goblin. Attack with square. Okay, we got those. We have skill with X. This forest is dangerous. Let's get out of here. Okay, and the door has opened. Buy happy cards. If you have some spare happy stars or happy jewels, you can do something with them, apparently. Oh, there's food. Some food. Some health. That's a big thing of food. Alright. Okay, we can pan the camera. That's cool. There's a trap. Ouch. How dare you. Okay, so it's... Okay. Left stick and left trigger. Okay, so these little flying... things are giving us directions. Okay. There's some more food. We need it. Shield strike brimming with rage. Okay. Stick at the same time. Or er, right trigger. Oh no! There we go. Figured out how to use that dodge. That's nice. Smash! This game is adorable. Goblins. Alright. But 
my coins. Whew, we're safe. Oh, that guy looks bad. Our Darya Bash, my buddy. Oh dear, there's uh, lots of them. You're gonna pay for that, Gob Gob. Ow. I am angry. I don't know what that does. And I've suddenly grown a lance. Huh. What the? Defeat the target. mode subsides. Wow, the outside world is truly an amazing place. Princess, are you alright? I told you, Princess, it's too dangerous for you to go outside. Oh, you, protect the princess. On behalf of the Order of the White Dragon, I thank you. Ow. Ow. Alright. What a stunning beauty. You are a real beauty, ain't ya? Oh no! He stole the princess! We must rescue the princess. A princess is more important than anything else to us humans. You don't look like you have anywhere to go. Are you a wandering knight? I'm a severely concussed knight. You look like you know your stuff. Would you like to join the Order of the White Dragon and help save the princess? Uh, sure. I take your silence to mean yes. <laughs> from this day forth, you are a knight of the Order of White Dragon. I welcome you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. Oi, newbie, you must save the princess by any means necessary. Right, let's start by getting out of this forest. Can I get my stuff first? Alright, and... Can I run? Okay, I can't sprint. I just have the one speed, but it looks like I can, uh, do the dash indefinitely. Oh, they don't give you much time to read those. Alright. Dungeon complete. I have leveled up to level 2. Damage to enemies boosted, damage from enemies reduced, and max weight is increased. New skills learned. Uh, Super Guard level 1, Lightning Strike level 1, and Sacred Armor level 1. Cool. Alright, so this must be my... Okay, so these are rewards. So I got 5 Happy Jewels, 1 Sacrificial Soul. Uh, healing potion... 20 Healing Potions. 20 spears, and then some regular little healing potions. Alright, so now what? There you are, brave knight. As you're about to fight an anointed member of the Order, I have a few important things to explain. Listen well, as what I say might just save your life. As sworn knights of the Order of the White Dragon, it is our duty to help those in need by accepting quests. Well, most of the time, it's the king asking us to save the princess. But we're bound by oath to serve all the citizens. We knights are always on standby in case a quest comes up, so we need to be prepared at all times. Speaking of which, it's time we got moving. Go to Story Quests and select Quests. Story Quest. 
This next part's rather simple. To bring up the list of available quests, just choose quest selection. I trust you don't need that repeated. No, I, I got you. Quick match is useful because you can find allies quickly, but now you cannot use it, so let's try it later. Now hurry and select quest selection so we can set off on your first assignment. So I'd rush you, but it's important. Okay. So we have completed the prologue. A party awaits the hero and the princess after the enemy was defeated. The order continues its quest to rescue the princess. There are all the quests. These are all the quests you can undertake. You'll find useful information such as the quest difficulty level and enemy info to the right. There might not seem like there's many quests to undertake, but complete whatever you can and word of your deeds will spread in no time. Soon enough, you'll have citizens begging you to do quests for them. A hero's reputation rests on rescuing people, so let's get out there and save some folks. Alright, let's go search for the princess. Consider this your last briefing. The lobby is where you make your final preparations before embarking. If you're looking for companions, this is the place to go. When you're ready, simply select Start. Half of the players in the lobby are ready to start a quest. until the game starts. During this time, you will not be able to change items or leave the session. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So this is just like... You just like randomly join other people's quests? Or they join yours? Or... You were responsible for her! My princess! My beautiful princess! Uh... Memory Crusher Sword! Oh my goodness. Oh. He tied the king up. And pretended... That... He was kidnapped. Oh my goodness. We'll go rescue her immediately. Oh really? Yes, that sounds familiar. Yes, your highness. Move out. Okay. <laughs> Uh oh. Alright. Now we need to destroy goblins. I think that one goblin is impaled on his own sword. people's coins. Okay. I don't think there's anything else, so we'll move on here. Oh, there's a spring of life here. A divine beast uses it as a toilet, but it can heal your injuries. That door looks like there's been some tough customers behind it. Go stand in the dog pee, apparently. This looks important. Ooh, it's a chest with coins. I like coins. Oh, that jerk. He left without us. We've come a long way. Where could she be? I don't know. You lot, attack! Oh, 
Oh, you can play on a ballista. That's wonderful. I think I just shot my teammate. Can't really control the angle though. So let's go ahead and get off. And fight some goblin. Ooh, lag. giant goblin and the princess. The boss is in the green cave. It's really deep inside the forest. To the green cave! And another random door appears. I'll wait politely for my teammates. Oh wow, that one guy took a lot of, uh, that guy took a lot of damage. There's a can of coke over here. Alright, so we did it. Level two to level three. This is going to be a really fun little game. Spell, Ice Ball, and Falcon Counter. Your first campaign. As one of us was a great success. With you on our side, we're sure to find the princess. Listen to what people say. Helped be on our masses. Well, yeah, we can do that, I suppose. Alright, and we got some more loot. So it looks like we can actually change our class now. I'm pretty fond of spears. So it looks like, yeah, like a martial class, maybe a s paladin or s wizard's class. No, that's the wizard class, okay. Um, some kind of hammer thing? A spiky shield? A wooden axe that's literally wood? A cardboard saw? A flower badge? White lace? And another healing potion. So we'll see what we can do here. Fine work. A battle any knight of the Order of the White Dragon would be proud of. I think you've proven you're ready to go it alone. All that's left for you is to take on some quests and start getting stronger. One last thing. You better return to the home screen and put on some proper equipment. It's unbefitting of a knight to don such scruffy gear. Okay, go back to the home screen. Sure. Today's present is Happy Star 1500. It's going to be Spear times 10 tomorrow. See the. Alright. A mysterious ticket that allows you to use happy cards for free. I wonder what you'll get. Testing, testing. Can you hear me, Sir Knight? I'm speaking directly to your mind. Word to the wise don't forget to check out happy cards. If you're trying to get stronger, you'll be glad you did. Okie dokie. Happy cards are mystical cards that help you acquire powerful weapons and armor easily. To purchase a card pack, you're going to need happy jewels. Here you go. Take 100 of them. These ones are on the house. Use them to buy Lily's special pack. Purchase card packs to get awesome, powerful equipment. Each card contains a, a yellow star, rare or better item, plus the final card in each Five card pack is guaranteed to be a silver star epic item. Mm, what, uh, what am I supposed to be buying? Okay. So, okay, so Lily's special pack. So we can go with warrior, cleric, or mage. Let's go with warrior. Go ahead and buy that. Open our card pack. We got a spear. The glory helm. The 
angel's spear. Another angel spear. And a dual rail gun. <laughs> Which we can't use till level 10. So. Okay, so the blue rose lance can't be used until level 9. The glory helm can't be used till level 8. Same for the angel spear. And the dual rail gun can't be used till level 10. But I want it now. Alright. So we don't have, uh, we don't have any gems. Well, the festival pack is on, er, the festival packs are on sale. We could get one card. Uh, festival class packs. Ice step up pack. Happy cards. Well, let's just go back and get one of the festival packs. Or one of the festival cards. Sure. This is adorable. I love this game now. Let's see, one card. A rattle axe. Which can't be used to level eight. It's still kinda cool though. Alright. Just a second, I almost forgot to brief you on how to change your equipment. Yes, please. Okay. Use L1 or R1 to change tabs. Tell you what, I'll take you there myself, but just this once. So we're going to customize. You can better prepare yourself for battle in the character settings. It's your go-to place for setting your weapons and armor skills. You can set different equipment to each slot. Once you've set your equipment, don't forget to choose a slot for your current quest with square. Okay. Well, I'd rather want to be a warrior. Equip items. Okay, so I've got... Equipment, but I can't use any of it, is what I'm seeing here. Can I equip that? It says it's locked. Details. R3? Okay, no, that's. But I want this. Oh, okay, now it's equipped. I see it. So it's this little purple thing on the other side. Alright, so now I have a spear. I can't equip any of those because those are level 8. Maybe? Is that what I'm saying? Or can I just. Oh no, I can just equip it now. So I wonder if that's the level of the item then. Well, let's use. Let's use an angel spear then if we can just use whatever we want. Let's use a spiky shield. And let's put the glory helm on. And I think that's all we can wear for now. Cool. Okay, so you can go to just the individual items. Okay, we don't have any fancy stuff. <laughs> yes, we want to save our changes. We will have to definitely fuss with the uh, customized look, so. Oh yeah, I don't look all that different as a guy or a girl. That's hilarious. These are hilarious. Suave and shaggy. Long and bright. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> So I'll mess with this and then we'll see how the character turns out next time. If you enjoyed this little video and you think Happy Dungeons is something you want to see more of, let me know in the comments and make sure to like the video. And as always, if you'd like to see more content from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And also, as always, have a wonderful day!